Here's what's happening in celebrity news, y'all. The prayer warriors are definitely being solicited for a friend of the morning show, y'all, Miss Tiffany Haddish. Oh. I don't know if y'all heard the shocking news with Tiffany, y'all, but they're saying her, her new movie, The Kitchen, honey, they say it was pulled from theaters after only three weeks. Now they're saying, y'all, that um, last month, honey, her Netflix comedy series, Tuca and Birdie, was canceled after one season, and now they're saying her box office appeal is starting to fizz. They're saying, according to the report, they're saying the kitchen y'all did so bad at the box office that Warner Brothers cut the movie's screenings from 2,700 down to only 600 theaters. Man, oh, wow. Jack, the kitchen is actually a dope movie. Mm. Tiffany Haddish is not the star of the movie. She's only in it. It's Melissa right. McCarthy's movie. Yeah, Melissa McCarthy right. and Elizabeth Moss. Honey, they're saying it was just crossed the $11 million mark. But then there's somebody going to blame Tiffany Haddish because she's the black person well, in the who's movie. who's the lead in the movie? Melissa McCarthy. Oh, okay. Well, it ain't it ain't her fault. It ain't Tiffany Haddish's fault. Right. But what happened with the Netflix one? They said her not them dead. They said her and Tuka and Birdie. They said it was canceled after one season. What was that even about? I don't know. It was a comedy series, evidently, on Netflix. Under- oh, is it that series where she was bringing out other female comics? Um, I don't know what it was because they, they didn't send me the memo on it. But honey, they, say, honey, <laughs> they, they, they canceled that girl, so I don't know. But they gave her a new show on Netflix, though. She got a new joint. Uh, Two Cup Birdies, a cartoon. The new one that she uh, has on Netflix is like it's it's, it's her like uh, highlighting female, female comics. comics. That stand up show. Yeah. Well, we hope that lasts there because, honey, post thing, they just saying everything Tiffany <laughs> Touch is canceled. Well, you know what they do sometimes to our culture? And, and, and it's not just us. It's a lot of people. But they oversaturate us to the point where, like, you just are over that artist or that talent for a minute. And not because they're not producing great stuff, but just sometimes it's just you get burned you out. You get burned out as if like they're not any other. Songs. <laughs> well, that's why you have to say no to sometimes. All, all money is not good That's money. right. And yeah, I right. turn down a lot of stuff because you will get burned out. And when you burn out, you don't know about it. It, it, it ruins it's your, over. But then that's basically to us Africans in America. Does, do the European um, um Race get burned out with their people. But they, but they don't good. oversaturate. That's what I'm saying. Sometimes we give ourselves one token and we say, like, this person is our one person. Yeah. When you forget that we have, you know, an exactly. array of like artists the one out doing there. All the talk shows, doing the game shows, doing mm-hmm. the TV, doing radio, and all that other stuff. So I guess. And the tea and all that. Yeah. <laughs> so, all right, y'all. Moving on, honey. Another celebrity news, y'all. It's a very sad day, y'all, for Jordan Woods now. They're saying, oh, y'all, Lord. honey, Jordan Woods' mama, y'all, is claiming, y'all, that her daughter, honey, lost the majority of her friends and has been refused services at the places where she become accustomed to. Now, that Jordan's uh, Woods mama said, honey, she said that Jordan's recent appearance at Teen Vogue, honey, was a blessing for her. She said she wanted to thank Teen Vogue for such a beautiful and real interview with Jordan to incorporate um, Jordan Woods. But she said everywhere Jordan go, now she said, honey, it's been very emotional for her because her friends have dumped her. She said when Jordan came to go to Popeye's no more because they didn't want to see her over there neither. Oh. And then she said, honey, to see your kids hurt at any age is difficult to say the least you say all i can say is honey that i hope everyone out there is perfect and no one has ever had to endure any bumps along the journey of mm. growing she said to watch the majority of her friends leave her not to be able to get service honey where you got accustomed to going and get bullied by the world honey she said it takes a strong ass family and individual honey to be able to deal with that on a daily basis she said, i'm just so proud of my daughter and so but then i said that they did that to that child mm-hmm. What they, uh, is that the Kardashians' power? They yeah. might, they might have uh, stopped her from being able to go in places that she went in because of them. What? You know, and like, it's just that public scrutiny. You know what I mean? Like sometimes when you know something happens in the public eye, that puts that stamp on you. And so everywhere she goes, people you know look at her a certain way. That has to be hard. But I mean, that's not. I mean, she got Will and Jada Pinkett Smith. That's her friends. They not with her all day, every day. The girl has to make a living and a name for herself, and it must be difficult when she's running around with this little stigma fart on her. And this happened at some at a Vogue thing, right? But but the team Vogue people were the ones that accepted her and, and were very nice to her. But they say everywhere else she go, they say people honey just turning their backs on like she's a plague or something. Aww. Well, Poor I mean, thing. yeah. Well, shout out to her mama, though, because when yeah. I did uh, Hip Hop Squares, her mom was there front row and said, I'm first of all, her mom looks amazing, by the yeah. way. Looks like her sister. She only, she only 12, though. Right. Her mom looks <laughs> great. And she was there alongside of her, and I think that that was so necessary, you know, to have that kind of support. I think she's her manager. 
I think so, too. Well, Mama said that we're praying that friendships can be mended as life is short and no one is perfect, honey. All those who truly know her and us know that love is all we have to give. Mm, We for real, honey, got this. We... We for real got this and for life. I have the most valuable gift, my family, unquote. Aww. Ain't that something? That's sad. So let's keep Jordan lifting the prayer, honey, and hope that, that, you know, somebody come back and be her friend again. Or maybe um that Tristan come back and be her friend. Uh-uh. You know don't be messy, no. Gary. <laughs> don't be messy. You ain't nothing. Tristan won't even do be it. Her friend. Well, if he was the cause of all this happening, he needs to come back and be her He's friend not at least. The- Listen. At least say, Jordan, honey, I take the brunt of all this. He's not going to do that, kiss Gary, me. because his, his, <laughs> his baby mama and his child is involved. He's not going to do that. Oh. If he's smart, he wouldn't do that. Oh, my God. And I don't think it would help the situation any either. At all. Really? That's that, you know, in time, time will reveal type okay. situation. In time, it will. <laughs> but this time, love's for real. So that's the sun. Oh, that's yeah, let's just up in the sky. Yes, I love you yes. So really. Yes, Lord Poe Jordan, honey. The color today is turmeric. On the high, you say turmeric, and on the low, you say dark orange. Y'all, let's keep all parties lifted up in prayer. Y'all. We will. We will right now. Right yeah. now, sweet Jesus. Yes, Lord. Shondo. Yes, Shondo, honey. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I can't sing. Wait. <laughs> Provide a song out of anything. No, that's a real song. I know, but you can say anything and Ricky will find where that go in a song. He finally ear candy, though.